Hey, it is your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. We're zooming in and focusing in a little bit more in depth on a great viewer question that we got in and that was to really look at more what is meant by the one directional relationship with a narcissist or a psychopath. What is this relating to? What does this mean? Um, when we talk about one directional, we mean heading in all one way. In other words, there is no back and forth. There is no give and take. Um, there is no giving and receiving. Everything is sort of going in one direction. So if you've ever heard of someone who has like a one track mind, this is all that they think about to the exclusion of other things. This is what we're referring to. A narcissist or a psychopath oftentimes has a one, is a very one directional relationship with them Meaning, even though just to coin the phrase, it's all about them, I mean, everything, even if they are giving you empathy, it is still all about them. They're not allowing you, your presence, your place, your identity, your thoughts, your existence to be respected or validated while you are in a relationship with them. So they will respectfully disrespect you, meaning that they will, might give the outer flippant, you know, um, you know, uh, not the day of time sort of, uh, attention to you, but really to them, other people are not important. They don't exist. They don't have really any sort of place in what they really care about. Although they can seemingly care about others. It's all about how they look. It's really all about the status. It is all about how they are perceived in the eyes of others. So it's very much, um, I would call it a social essential, a social engineering sort of way that they live their life. It's living life from the outside in. So what is the appearance of not the genuineness of? So there's oftentimes a lack of genuineness to them, even though they have the outer appearance of very much a genuine or accomplishment, if you will. Everything is extremely competitive, meaning it is all about them. It's very one directional. So meaning everything is in the direction of what that person wants. So in other words, um, if we, um, you know, talk about family, it's going to be about this. If we talk about business, it's going to be about this. If it's going to be about travel, it's going to be about this. Everything is going to be directed to what promulgates or props up or promotes their social status, their position, who they are. So there's always going to be a winner and a loser. There is no win-win with these people. There's constantly, unequivocally, without a doubt, going to be a winner and a loser. And as you know, with competitive people, to compete, there has to be one person that they outdo. In other words, there has to be a loser. So they, they have to have this one direction. There has to be a winner and there has to be a loser. And if you are in cohorts or if you are in proximity or if you are around this person and you feel like you have to lose to them, it is because of this, it is because of this competitive one directional relationship that they are all about. And if you are in it, you will always feel this. You'll always feel the burn of being the loser. You will always feel this, feel the sting of defeat. You always, always feel the, the pain of despair. I mean, you'll always feel this around them because they have to socially engineer. Someone is a loser and you wonder, well, why am I a scapegoat? Why am I feeling this way? Why am I part of the one direction when seemingly everybody else is part of their you know, this, and they're happy about it. Well, there are others who are going to be feeders into that one direction and they just, they don't care. Eventually they, they will get devalued and discarded. They will um, be lied to. They will be tampered with. Um, they will be told what they want to hear. So they're in the love bombing phase of it. And, you know, you have been through the cycle already. I mean, you've been doing this long enough you are, you know, in the stages with which you go through these different cycles, the love bombing, the devaluing and the discarding, it can take, you know, a certain amount of time, um, excuse me, um, to go through this. 
So it, it can take a long time. Um, you know, you can be with these people for a lifetime. You can be the, with these people for a career. You can be with these people in your workplace. I mean, you know, and the one directional, you know, when it's your uh, credit is not given where credit is due. Um, you're not given um, attention. You're not given a sort of feedback, a certain look in the eyes. You know, it's very, it's very one directional. In other words, there's someone who can look at you and take from you at the same time. So, you know, you feel like you're being taken or you're being taken in, you know, you're ba being bamboozled. Um, you're being blind -swided. You're being, uh, blindsided, you know, a hit and run where they're not taking responsibility and accountability for the hurt. You know, you're going to feel this sting of the one direction. You're going to feel you're going to feel that being, you know, uh, maybe out of control, making decisions that you don't feel good about, um, you know, that are in their benefit and not in yours. So then, you know, it is all one directional. So um, disengage, you must. Detach, you must. Even if this person is rooted in your life um, for decades and it's like losing your right leg, your left leg, your left arm or your right arm, I mean, you are going to feel like you're losing a big part of you, especially if your identity has been around this person or in your workplace for so long that you feel it's like part of you and you can't make a decision without it. It's so familial. It's so familiar. It's been so rehearsed and memorized where you feel this one direction. Like I just, you know, and then people, the, to the tolerance, the tolerance level becomes so great for pain that people end up just living in pain, living in anxiety, living in, in unhappiness, working in fear, wondering what's going to happen next. You know, where's the next insult going to come from? And, you know, how long can I take it for? So I would advise you, you know, if you are, you know, in this very one directional relationship and you feel glossed over, ignored, unattended to, not validated, not given, um, you know, um, accolades for who you are. In other words, they, they can't mirror you back for who you are because it would, it would mean for them to have a two way relationship, to have a give and take to, you know, not be the one in control. Do you see how there is only, you know, if they say, you know, this town is not big enough for the both of us, you've heard that statement. Well, it's very much like that. It's like you or me, kid, someone's got to go and it's going to be you. I mean, they are, they're, they're, especially in the workplace, this can be very, very difficult. Um, you know, when you encounter these people, you know, you can be doing a fantastic job. You can, you know, be doing wonderfully. And then here comes the psychopath. This company isn't the big enough for the both, both of us. This town isn't big enough for the both of us. This family is not big enough for the both of us. It's very much like that. You know, it's you or me, someone's going to hit the road and it's going to be you. I mean, that's how they react. And, um, unfortunately, you know, being in this position of being, um, you know, uh, you know, seeing this one, you know, being around this very one sided person, um, you have to realize that they're very uncouth, um, and very competitive in nature. Meaning as we, as we said, once again, for there to be people who are very competitive in nature, I don't care if it's tennis, I don't care if it's business, I don't care if it's golfing, um, you know, whatever it is, uh, horseback riding, um, fishing, you know, there always has to be someone who they have to edge out, who they're going to step on, waffle on. There, there's always going to be someone who they have to crumble. And so, um, if you are that person because of the position you are in the family, the position you are in the business, the position you are in the company, uh, the position you are in your community, in your politics, in your association, I mean, they are always going to try to dismantle you and disengage you. And if they can keep you breathing in pain and then fearful, um, paranoid, anxious, not able to function, well, I mean, that shows the win for them. But furthermore, it shows even more that you need to get away. You need to disengage. You need to learn that these people are the way that they are. And you, you need to go no contact. Um, the devaluing has in the one sidedness where you feel like you're just losing grip and you can't function and you can't coexist like at the table or the business meeting or at the, you know, uh, you know, uh, convention because this person, you know, it is because you have not dealt with it within yourself. You have to deal with it within yourself. You have to know 
that person is how that they are. The sting is, you know, they're they're a stinging um, like a, a stand tripe a sand trap type of plant where you put a bug in and they're devouring it. They are going to devour. It. I mean, that is their nature. Um, it has nothing to do with you. It doesn't mean that you're weak. It doesn't mean that you're inferior. It doesn't mean that um, you know, you're um, you know, there's uh, nothing wrong with you. It doesn't, you know, you just are around a very energy suck, psychopathic, narcissistic, whatever you want to call it. It is that type of poisonous person who is toxic. It is not enjoyable. It is not fun. It is not pleasurable. You need to get away. It has nothing to do with you. <coughs> it has nothing to do with your, um, with your loveliness as a person, they're going to reflect back to you that, you, that you're ugly, you're stupid, you don't know how to do anything. And then pretty much as, as that gets reflected back and back, you become that person to them. You know, it's, they're, they're going to try to feed you those lies and they're not going to allow you to see the beauty within. They're not going to allow you to be the beauty that you are. They're not going to allow you your place in life to celebrate life, to enjoy things, to enjoy the food, the company, the gathering, the music. The, you know, um, spontaneity of it all. You're not going to be able to flow, have flow in your life. It is, it is more a sign to you that you need to get control of your emotions and get them separate as they are separate from this person. You need to separate your feelings. And this can take a long time. It's easier said than done. But, you know, you um, to begin, you must go no contact and you must realize the seriousness with which these type of people present to you in your life. I mean, it needs to come down to where you hit rock bottom and you say enough is enough. I'm no longer playing these games. I'm, I'm not, you know, getting into this more one-sided. I'm just living my life now. I'm not playing these games. I'm going away from these people. I'm going away from this person. I am disengaging. Elvis has left the building. I am now hitting the highway. I am going away. I am, you know, adios, bye-bye. You know, the flow is taking me. The wind has hit the, you know, the tires have hit the pavement. You know, the boots are on the ground. You're out of there. Whatever it is you need to do, if it's gotten that bad, you need to get away. Otherwise, you're constantly going to be exposed to the hurt, the struggle, the unhappiness. Well, why can't I cope? You know, well... If you're coping, then you're going to continue to experience what you're experiencing. If all that you're doing, I mean, you're just, you're constantly going to be pummeled by this type of person. So if you acknowledge that and you can then forecast this going in, you can say, okay, great. I'm entering into the storm. Let's go. I'm entering into the jungle. Let's go. You know, I'm entering into the war zone, the battle zone. Let's go. If you want to go there, that is your personal choice and you must make the best of it you can and have the fun that you can, be the you that you can, go with the flow that you are. Take care of yourself in these situations. And if they're not giving you what you need, then adios, baby, bye-bye. Do not hang around them. Do not um, expect that you're going to get these things. Even if, you've, <clears throat> even if you've given, excuse me, <clears throat> Even if you've given them to them and you don't, you know, you don't deserve that. And a one directional person, they don't care. It is all one direction to them. You know, basically you having a life, um, being, you know, they're not going to, um, they're going to be threatened by it because it's, it's going contrary. It's like, let's put it in another direction here. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about different angles. Let's talk about different perspectives. They won't have anything to do with it. They are very tough, thick skinned, one directional people who do this to get their way. It is your buddy, Peace and Harmony, with you here today, and I hope that these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.